Hey guys, what's up? This is Random, and uh, I'll be back making videos again. Uh, hopefully, you guys will enjoy that. Um, I've got some replay here uh, from Game Replace, uh, just some random, random one that has had a decent amount of downloads, so it's possibly good. I hope it will be good. Um, in any case, um, I should be recording in a much better quality uh, than I used to. Um, the audio should be uh, should be somewhat better as well, uh, hopefully. Uh, in any case, uh, the thing is that I'll be taking uh, replay requests uh, as I as I used to, but I I didn't really do it. Uh, as much, uh, and I think this audio in the game is fucking loud right now. Uh, let's see, a servant or something. Of course you are. I hope this. I hope the audio will be just fine, cause uh, I'm really not sure about the settings right now. This is the first time I'm recording on this PC, uh, so hopefully uh, the balance between the in-game audio and my voice will be just fine uh, so i'll be taking uh, i'll be taking uh, replay requests from 1.8 uh, i'll be also taking uh, game requests if you guys will want to play with me and uh, see the game recorded uh, absolutely <coughs> that's uh, that's absolutely possible uh, there's uh, no reason not to uh, i'll be ha i'll be having uh, some decent amount of time to to play to play the game with you guys um i won't be playing on my usual uh game uh, game ranger account i'll be playing on another one because uh, the reason why i stopped recording was uh, quite simply uh my old pc uh, just just couldn't do it anymore uh there was some um update on the program that i was using to record and uh, with that, after that update, the, the PC just uh, didn't quite chew it for some reason. I didn't really understand it, honestly. Uh, there was no obvious reason for the PC not to be able to record after that when he was able to record before, but uh, the, vi the videos were just too laggy. It was just, uh, it was just nothing enjoyable, so I'd rather, I'd rather stopped. Uh, but now I'm back and yeah, so that's it. Uh, I'll be recording uh, some uh, replay casts uh, such as this one and I'll be also doing uh, gameplays. Uh, of course, I'll take any uh, suggestions from you guys uh, regarding uh, regarding like whatever, you know, the in-game sounds, the audio, the, the video. Uh, as I said, the replays and uh, pretty much everything. Like uh, I can, I can do uh, the gameplays with my voice or without. So uh, depends on what you guys uh, just want to see. It it really is up to you. Uh, I wasn't even uh, sure if I'm going to record again, uh, honestly. But uh, yeah, some some of you guys just gave me feedbacks that made me. Uh, maybe come back to it so thank you for that and uh, yeah when you when you do videos for like uh, this kind of uh, uh, this, this amount of people like 100 views and stuff then like every single uh, every single feedback every single person that uh, tells you to record again just uh, it does a huge amount honestly and I'm really grateful for that so yeah uh, any feedback is uh, super welcome. Uh, in any case, we got uh, a 2v2 here. Um, on one side, that's an elf and a dwarf. Uh, on the other side, that's Mordor and uh, a Man of the West uh, player. Uh, this guy is called GM2 Gabriel. Alright, what a name. Uh, here we have, uh, I think the dwarf is Jesse, I'm pretty sure it's Jesse, let me see. Yeah, that's Jesse. Uh, Jesse is putting on some harsh harassment on the man. Uh, the man could probably deal with it better than losing both of his production buildings. Since he's doing pretty much the exact unit that he should do against a dwarf harassment like this. You just, you just need to block off uh, the dwarves from your 
buildings with the soldiers and just let the archers uh, deal the damage. In any case, Elf is uh, doing somewhat well for himself. It's Daryl Dixon, all right. Uh, I have a feeling like uh, this player is actually not male. I think it's just his girlfriend. But that's just a feeling, honestly. Uh, if, if he's not, then I'm, I'm, I apologize <laughs> to the player. I don't mean no bad with this. But I just I just have a feeling it's actually his uh, his girlfriend. And I think this is this is a the tournament game, the mentor mentee program thingy. So one guy is supposed to be uh, like uh, good, and the other guy is supposed to be a little bit worse. I think that. It's Fintra. <coughs> it's, the, it's the Mordor player that's supposed to be like a mentor, and the man player who's supposed to be Menti, uh, at least according to their place so far. <coughs> yeah, Alf is falling back as he sees or she sees the Nazgul. I'm really just going to refer to Daryl Dixon as the player because I'm just not sure if he's a guy or a girl. Yeah, and one thing you want to do with elves when you see Nazgul come in like this, you really want to cover your archers with the pikes. But you do that by like sending the pikes uh, against the archers and archers against the pikes, and then you just select all of them and press H or S. That way, you you never th this this should never happens to you, or it does, but only when you do mistakes. Like he, he shouldn't he shouldn't be losing anything honestly to this Nazgul. Yeah, this is just food. <coughs> uh, that that's one thing with Nazgul. Like Nazgul is not scary until Nazgul is uh, level two. Okay, when he has the fear ability, which decreases armor, I believe. Yeah, the armor and damage. So yeah, until he doesn't have that, the Nazgul actually doesn't have no damage. So if you see your enemy making Nazgul, try to keep him. On level one as long as possible. I know it's 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 not always uh, uh, so easily done as set, but uh, yeah, th that's the best way. Honestly, it's the best way to deal with enemy Nazgul. Just keep him level one, and uh, he's uh, more or less harmless. <laughs> that even rhyme, boys. So yeah, Mordor is pressuring dwarf. But at the same time, the dwarf is just committing his units onto this man player uh, together with uh, this elven push. And this elven uh, player is trying probably to do some sort of like forward base stuff. That's uh, it's pretty good against men. They don't have the best tools to deal with it. But you really need to prioritize the end because that's uh, the end is the thing that keeps this shit going. And he almost lost it and he didn't hit the, the fortress once yet. That's okay, I think it's this fortress is going down anyway. Like no matter what, there's cloying, there are two dwarven units, this end got some hits off, so uh they should be just fine, I think. Yeah. I think this man is pretty much dead. And yeah, he he, he just didn't deal with the pressure like at all. And men are one of the best defensive uh, defensive uh, factions out there, uh, together with uh, together with elves. But men have somewhat better ways to deal with uh, deal with the dwarves than elves, uh, just because they have cheaper units. Cheaper units with basically the same effect as elves. Uh, and that's what you want. You want uh, you want some good amount of units against dwarves because they can easily just outspam you. But that can't happen to men, or should not happen, if you produce uh, on a constant basis. If you don't, then of course you just you just like this just happens. Okay, <laughs> you don't have fort and you fucked up. <coughs> Although this mortar is like keeping on uh, tier one units like orcs and orc archers, it's uh, not something that you can turn the game with. You need corsairs, you need pikes, you need uh, better heroes than uh, Nazgul. Like people should realize that Nazgul is not really a hero; it's just a cavalry unit. Okay, that's that's what it is. He doesn't know, he, and he's he's a bad cavalry unit. Okay, 
He does no damage to structures. He can only crush at one place at a time. Okay, like if if this was a uh, regular carvalier unit, first of it probably wouldn't die. But secondly, these archers, all of them would be fucking dead. So yeah, uh, people people sometimes just give Nazgul's too much credit for a for the fact that they are annoying, but they're weak. Uh, it's it's a unit for 1,100, and the strongest thing about it is their aura, not not the crushing, not, not nothing like that. Like it's it's just the aura that's so good. It's it's one of the most overpowered spells in the whole BFME2 game. So yeah, that's that's what you're paying for when you pay for Nazgul, and that's why if your Nazgul is level one, uh, it's it's fucking lost money. It's fucking worthless. <clears throat> In any case, this man is—he's he's got some balls. He's, uh, you know, pushing forward, having oh my fucking god, farmer is level seven. That's yeah, <laughs> this hero. So underestimated, honestly. Like this fifty percent leadership—that's like land everywhere you go, and I think it—it should stack with land. I'm not 100% positive about this, honestly. Um, I never been really good with these numbers in game, but I think that since this is leadership and that one is bonus or something, it should stack. And I'm not sure if it stacks like 100% after that or just like 75% or something. In any case. Uh, he just fucking died. <laughs> I was that escalated somewhat quickly. <coughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Actually, Yoda is hosting this one, so the one might have been on stream, I suppose. I'm not sure. As I said, I just randomly took a replay. I didn't even know it was the replay from tournament. It seems to be though. Uh, yeah, this this game uh, will probably continue to be just a little shit show, where this elf will just take the end and charge on Mordor. This Mordor doesn't seem to have anything. Like he has Mount of Sauron now, but it's just way too late. It's 12 minutes into the game, or 10, or something like that. It's just too, too fucking late. And he has no pikes, he has no Corsair, so this guy just doesn't give a fuck. <coughs> like, look at him, he's standing right in the middle of the orcs. And that was some arrow bullet. Yeah, he's standing in the middle of orcs and orc archers, and like, he's standing here for so long. He doesn't even have the defense stance, which he should. <laughs> yeah, he just, he just like, doesn't give a fuck, he just took so much damage. Uh, or you know, like ate so much damage that could have been dealt somewhere else. And he was alone, like he was missed, this was a huge miss micro, like. This dwarf obviously was uh, focused somewhere else. Yeah, that's just the thing with dwarven heroes, you don't send them out alone. It's never gonna work out, they're just too easy to be picked off by pretty much anything that is faster than them like if, if you just have like uh, Gimli somewhere a uh, Gimli who doesn't have e a Slayer either leveled up or ready then he can't run and you have you have three units of, of some pikes that are fast, faster than him like uh, Eisen pikes or uh, I don't know I think that even the Dwarven pikes are faster than him slightly no 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 did not did not but Easterlings, Isengar pikes, even the Elven pikes, for fuck's sake, uh, they can just uh, run him down. And if he doesn't have some reinforcements nearby, then he's just gonna die. The same with the 1000 heroes that are not mounted, like just some swordsmen uh, who can run them down uh, out alone. And you just lost your gold for nothing. So be careful, careful about that when you send in heroes out alone. Uh, just remember that uh, they can just get fucked. 
yeah, that's that's pretty terrible. Just having <coughs> battle wagon picked off for nothing. So like Mount of Sauron is level five. He has fell beast. Uh, this elf has been doing pretty much nothing. Like he's still making archers, spikes, and swordsmen, and ants. Like ants, uh, that's after after that time. Okay, ants don't really do nothing right now. Ants are good in like early and mid game, but in late game scenarios, uh, when your opponent has stuff like Mount of Sauron or Fell Beast or you know these kind of spells, uh, you can't like siege with with ants because uh, they're just too fragile. They have their pretty good damage into buildings and stuff, but they're just, they're just fragile as fuck. Uh, and this help really needs to uh, yeah get his upgrades, that's all good, and get the Merkuts. And I think that Mordor is saving up for, for Witch King, I believe. Elf has like no power points. <laughs> yeah, Elf has fallen behind so much, like considering that he has this whole space where he can be building, uh, where he can be building uh, Malorns, and there's nothing. Okay, like this part of the map where I'm circling around with my cursor, it's just empty space that should be taken by Ira, the dwarf, or uh, or the elf. Yeah, Dwarf is doing somewhat fine for himself, but he's been under pressure and he really needs uh, his ally's help right now. Because he's, he's, a, he's a Dwarf. Uh, dwarfs don't deal pretty well with uh, this kind of pressure from heroes. Like, wh what is he going to do? <coughs> he also lost like three battle wagons. That's uh, 1500 uh, resources. Just, just fucking out of the window, for no reason. Yeah, and these guys should really start using stances. Cause otherwise, uh, the 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 units eventually like the value you get out of well used stances, uh, like doubles the amount of units you have. Over the time, of course, not just like at one in one situation, but eventually, eventually, when you're uh, using your units in the right stances, uh, it's just going to pay off so much. You really should learn it. <laughs> this is just like fucking hilarious. Like, what do you expect? You're sending uh, three units like this. Without, with no pikes, no amount of archers that can deal with this fucking Nazgul. He even upgraded the swords, and what did he do? Or, or she, uh, taken down like one slaughterhouse. Maybe going to take out the other one. No, she's not, or he's not. The elf is not <laughs> going to take out the slaughterhouse. If the Mordor gives a fuck, obviously. Yeah, let's let's zoom in, boys. This is this is the action. This is the real action. Okay, okay. So two slaughterhouses for uh, two upgraded units of swordsmen. That's like uh, that's three hundred gold. That's eight hundred plus six hundred uh, makes one thousand four hundred, one thousand seven hundred with the archers. Pretty crazy, honestly. Pretty fucking crazy. Plus, you gave gave uh, gave away some power points, like definitely more power points to the Mordor than you have gained by killing those two structures, and levels to both the Nazgûls and Mount Saro and the Fell Beast. So, yeah, that's that's not something you wanna do. So uh, this push is fucking doomed to do nothing. And this elf is randomly spread out units. What the fuck? <clears throat> I'm not sure what the, what's the plan here. Okay, the the plan was when the dwarf is getting pushed, then the elf will hit 
the fortress, but this fortress can take a beating since it has the upgrades. It has even the fucking catapult. That's that's actually a brilliant move. This one, this catapult right here. It's even in in a good place where it can defend him from pushes from like here. It can defend from pushes from here and here. Yeah, that's that's really fucking great placement actually. And the end just fucking dies to unupgraded arrows from uh, this these two shits. And again, he has like three units trapped in here. They can't get out. They they can't do nothing inside. They, they will take one level three uh, shit out. But yeah, how valuable is that really? Okay, got a bullet. <sighs> I wonder where his Nazguls are. See this guy's what the fuck? Did he like lose his Nazguls and shit? I think he lost them, but I don't know where. That's pretty retarded. You don't wanna lose those ever. Like you can throughout the game you can lose Nazguls like a few times. Like I don't know, two three times. <coughs> is the maximum amount of times that you want to lose Nazgul's, but uh, not not more. And Maru Sauron, you never want to lose that guy. Like, why? There's no reason to. He's faster than anything that can kill him or damage him. And... Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like, he's faster than anything that, that can damage him. So, if you lose him, you just fucked up. There's no excuse. You just gave him away. Just like <laughs> look at look at this shit. Like in this stage of the game, there is no reason to try and crush units with Nazgul, unless you are like one hundred percent sure about what the fuck. Okay, this guy, ladies and gentlemen, just got pissed off. Just like enough with this fucking orc scam. I'm enough dealing with this shit. Yeah, and um, he fucked shit up. Pretty pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, this this fella is just like fucking hilarious because it's like, it's like uh, let's let's fucking surround this guy let's let's fuck him up boys yeah we're going to kill him and he's it's like dying and then like when everything really god is around him it's like bam slams the ground and everything in the radius of fucking 10 kilometers uh blows up and Mordor also had 5k gold, so I don't know what the fuck, but he should be having a uh, Witch King right now, honestly. Yeah, this Nazgul does uh, exactly nothing right now. I guess... Is... what? Just get out, boy! So, it's pretty late for Nazgul, he's, he's given up. Yeah, that's understandable. Like, there's no way he's going to push through the dwarf because he just has too much. And the elf is, uh, yeah, the elf is elf. It's not like he can win the game alone. They had somewhat decent um, last stand, let's say. <laughs> so yeah. <coughs> uh, anyway, I'll be uh, dividing these videos into 15 minutes parts. So. Uh, the uploads time is uh, somewhat normal and also uh, the video file isn't like crazy amount huge <coughs> in any case uh, I think that after this I'm going to do some gameplays so yeah try to spread the word if you enjoy the videos uh, and yeah that's it from me boys see ya <coughs>